Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll tackle a common challenge in Power BI which is embedding images. Often we find ourselves in situations where we want to enhance our reports with images but we hit a roadblock due to limitations on URL accessibility within Power BI. Power BI has a restriction, it requires image URLs to be anonymously accessible. This means that the images that are hosted on sites like SharePoint or OneDrive, they typically require sign-ins in an organization and they won't work directly. Even though the person has access to that particular folder or an image, when they open the Power BI report online, they will not be able to see these images. However, there's a workaround and today I'll guide you through it. We'll explore an alternative method where we will convert these images into base64 and embed them directly into Power BI. By doing so, we will basically bypass the external URLs altogether. We will not be using any of the URLs here, which gives us more control over our visual content. So let us see how we can do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. So let's start by importing the images that I have in a particular folder. So I'm going to go to get data here and choose more and select folder and click on connect. I'm going to paste the folder part that I have here and then click on OK. So this will basically bring in all the details that I have in that particular folder. It's basically the binary content that I have here. Let's click on transform data. Now that we are here in the Power Query editor, we have columns here like content, name of the file that we have, the extension, date access, etc. But we are interested only in the first two columns. So let's quickly select these two columns here and select, right click and select remove other columns. So once we've done that, and now it's time for us to extract the binary content that we have in this particular column. So to do that, all we have to do is write a little piece of code. Let's do that. Let's add a new column here. Let's select custom column and let's add, give it a name here. I'm going to call this as image underscore name. Let's start entering the custom formula here. All we have to do is open double quotes here, type in data followed by a colon image followed by a semicolon and then type in base64 and a space. And now let's concatenate this with another function called binary to text. So let's do that. So binary to text will basically convert the binary data into the text format. So let's add the first argument here, which is the content followed by a comma. The second argument here is encoding. And in here, I'm going to type in binary encoding dot base 64. I'm going to close the bracket here and click on confirm. And now you can see that we've added a new column in our data set, which has converted the binary data into the text format. Now let's click on home, click on close and apply. Let's go back to our Power BI report now. And now let's click on this image name. Let's go to the column tools and make sure that our data category is categorized as image URL. And now let's click on this image and add this into a new table. Oops, they are not appearing. Let's see what's happening here. Let me, let's go back to edit query here and let's click on advanced editor. I have missed a comma here. So let's add that comma here, click on done and let's close and apply and let's see if we will display the images. Yes, we have now started to display the images. Let me quickly go to the format tab and increase the image height to about 500 or so. And now you can see that we have a problem. The problem here is that this is not displaying the full image in this case. Now let me explain why this is happening, why the images here are not appearing in full or they are being truncated. So to do that, let's head to the Power Query Editor and in Power Query Editor, let's add a new column in here and let's call this column as text underscore length, text, right? Let's write a small function here, which will basically um, give us the text length and let me just get rid of this here. Text length, I'm gonna close the bracket here, pass in the image name, close the bracket here and confirm. And now you can see that we have the text length here of 4,22,547, which is much greater than the allowed limit in Power BI. The allowed limit in Power BI is only about 32,766. And let's click on close and apply. And now to confirm, let's go to the data view and we can see the text length over here because we have added them in the Power Query editor. Now, what exactly is the text length when we are here in the data view? So let's check that. I'm going to add a new column in here. 
and I'm going to call this as just length is equals to I'm going to use the length formula here and pass in the image name column and click on confirm and now you can see that the length of this particular column is only 32,766 which means that this is not displaying the entire text value and is getting truncated at 32,766. However, in the Power Query editor, we have the full text length, which is 4,22,547. Well, now you may ask, how do we fix this? Now the fix is basically, uh, we will have to split the values here at 32,766, bring them into new rows and then concatenate them together to display a single image. Now I've come across a blog here by Chris Webb, which basically has a piece of M code, which will do all the job for you. And this will basically split the text and this will also combine the text. All you have to do is copy this piece of code here. So let's quickly do that. I'm going to copy this code here, come back to Power BI. Let's head over to the Power Query editor and let's quickly duplicate the table that I have here. Let's call this as pictures underscore full. And let's head over to the advanced editor. I'm going to increase this size here and let me paste this below. And all I have to now do is change this particular location and point this to the location where I have my images stored. So I'm going to copy this location here and replace the code here. And let me get rid of this piece of code from the top. Rest everything remains the same. And let's click on done now. And now you can see that for one particular image, which is blueberry.jpg, I have these many rows created and I also have the index numbers here. Now this piece of code is really helpful and let's click on close and apply. Let's go back to our Power BI report now and let's go back here. I'm going to add a new page and now I have a new table here, which is pictures full. I'm now back to the blog here and Chris has also shared the measure that we should be using. I'm going to copy this. Let's go back to the Power BI report. I'm going to create a new measure now. I'm going to paste this here. And now all I have to do is replace the PQPix with the table name that I have in my data set. So I will select PQPix here and press Ctrl plus F2 so that I select all the occurrences of PQPix in the measure and replace that with pictures underscore full and confirm and now I have the measure created and now all we have to do is bring in the display image measure that we created and change this into a table you can see that we're not displaying anything here but let's add the name here and change this into a slicer and now when you make a selection from this particular slicer you should be able to display the image. The reason why this is not displaying the image is because we missed one step. So let's go back to display image and change the data category here to image URL. Once we do that, we will immediately start displaying the images. Let's go to the image size here and increase the height to about 500 pixels. And now you can see that we have the full image being displayed in Power BI. And when I select any other picture here, you will see that we are now displaying high quality full image in our Power BI report without using any external URLs. Of course, there are different ways where you can also reduce the size, bring in the character limit to less than 32,766. But in that scenario, you will be compromising in the quality of the image. But when you use this method, you will be displaying the high quality images in your Power BI report without compromising the quality. With this, we've come towards the end of the tutorial. I hope with this method, you will now be able to embed your images in Power BI without having to use any URLs. That's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.